Let's continue our Quadro video series and talk about the next development steps. In 2005, Audi was celebrating 25 years of Quadro and they brought something new. Because they changed from a 2.7 liter V6 turbo Cosworth engine in the first RS4 to a 4.2 liter naturally aspirated V8, which was now hanging even further forward of the front axle, Audi wanted to improve dynamics with a rear biased mid differential. Until then, Audis with longitudinal drivetrains used the so-called Torsen Type A mid-differential. The housing is driven by the output shaft of the gearbox and transversal gears connect shafts for front and rear axle with each other. Because both sides have the same dimensions, the torque distribution is 50-50. The angle or pitch of the gears decides how much torque can be transmitted to the axle with more grip and hence less RPM. These transversal gears allow quite big torque bias ratios. Another torsion design is the Type B. Also here, components have the same dimension, so distribution is 50-50, but the connecting gears are parallel. This allows less locking function, so a smaller torque bias ratio. This is considered to be more comfortable and quieter, but not really what Audi was looking for. Audi chose the torsion Type C differential. This one is a very different design as it's a planetary gear system. The idea is fairly simple. Again, you drive the housing, so the ring gear. And inside, you connect the planetary gears to the rear axle and the sun gear to the front axle. That way, the rear axle has the bigger lever arm and hence gets more torque. To reach a locking effect, the gears are helically toothed, which also helps to reduce noise and increases reliability. Because of that angle, an axial force is being created at bigger speed differences and friction discs inside the differential lock the three individual parts together, depending on the situation. Audi used this new mid-differential with asymmetric torque distribution in the 2005 RS4 and in the new Q7. It had a distribution of roughly 40 to 60 and could transmit up to 85% to the rear and up to 65% to the front. It helped the RS4 with better driving characteristics and it was important for the Q7 as well. While Touareg and Cayenne were designed as the hardcore off-roaders with their complex drivetrain with low gear and locks, the Q7 was based on the same platform but didn't have any of that. Instead, it was much longer, heavier, had up to 7 seats and Audi's priority for the Q7 was more vehicle dynamics compared to its brothers. So the Q7 got the new rear biased mid differential and this was the start of the new generation of Quattro. Also the S6 and RS6 got this new torsion generation and it became standard for the future. Advantage was still that it's a mechanical diff without sensors and actuators. It's compact, it reacts super fast. So Audi's famous all-wheel drive system took another step further. If you enjoyed this episode, consider to become a B-Sport Club member for early access and more videos like this. See you at the next one.